All right, y'all, we need to talk about something that is a recurring theme in all of anime fiction when it comes to characters and their finishing moves here. Because whether it be Marvel, Jujutsu Kaisen, or any other trope you wanna go with, the character isn't gone until you've sliced off their head. Unfortunately, our heroes haven't realized that even this far into the story, but I digress. Also, hello everybody, it's your boy King of Chaos here to bring you Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 251. This chapter is a banger and it's a slugfest and those are exactly the type of chapters we love to see here. If you love Jujutsu Kaisen, if you wanna support the channel, please, please, please drop us a like. It means so much. Consider subscribing and being a part of this expansive empire of chaos that we are forming. Also, shameless plug, we have memberships from the channel now as well. If you wanna be part of the community and help support directly what we do here, thanks. Now this chapter starts off with Shukuna being shook. I'm gonna call him Shukuna now from now on because he's up here shucking and diving, trying to avoid Yuta's blade after he's hit with the mock cleave attack. And, and Yuta just coyly toys with him saying at the very beginning, hey, you never could get that final finger, could you, huh? And <laughs> bam, Itadori immediately clocks him. This chapter is so fast paced, y'all. There's not a moment off the gas pedal, instantaneous smoke. Sukuna's like, I see quite the meal. And to me, what I interpret that meaning is he's probably gonna have to eat Yuta to get his final finger. I don't know, y'all. You, you never know. The story's done crazier things. If he's able to just like, I don't know, consume Yuta's power by also consuming him because he's a finger now, now we have a real problem on our hands. But I'm just gonna avoid that because it seems like Gege already wants the villains to win. Now, Yuji, Maharaga, Yuta, they continue on this backstreet ball barrage, hitting him with Uzahiko resets and, and, and Jolly Bean barrages and Gomu Gomu nose. I mean, Itadori takes his face and brings it down to his knee. He didn't knee him in the face. He faced his knee. I'm sorry, y'all. This is disrespectful. This is what I like. Jujumpsu Kaisen. It makes sense that they're able to do all this now. Sukuna's slowly but surely losing some of his curse techniques, some of his energy. He's also not able to fully realize his effects of cleave, dismantle, or utilize his domain expansion in this. So they're optimizing. They're doing everything correctly for once. They're jumping this guy. I mean, Sukuna also thinks he's the one. He grabs Yuji Tadori, puts his arm around him, and like cleaves him at point blank range. Oh my God, he turned his lungs into freaking ground beef or some pork sausage or something. But Yuji ain't done. He's like, hey, my boy, I got something for you. Do it spits in his eye blood gang no soup or whatever they be saying um and then the yuta immediately without missing a beat bam uppercut you know that hurt you know that uppercut hurt that's dangerous for him man sukuna is not having a good time right now i've been telling everyone if sukuna loses it's okay i just need to see it happen in a way that makes sense and yuji's over here saying hey man look we got to get fushigiro back this is our last chance there is no other opportunity hurry up and heal because he's got that reverse curse technique i mean hey it is what it is he's got it and he's using it um and sukuna is starting to feel at least a little bit of pressure because he states that his cursed energy output and the control of his body is weakening at the same time while he's having this conversation, trying to jump near Dodge, Rika grabs him by the leg, slams him down. It's like he's not getting a second to breathe. And while Rika tries to bring him down, she throws him to Yuji and Yuji does a somersault kick. We'll call that a tag team combo. This looks like something out of JJK Curse Clash. I don't know. Then Yuji to Dori and, and, and Yuta. They see Sukuna. Well, they see each other first because they know what's coming next. And they see Sukuna prepare to grab his hands. Releasing Hollow Wicker Basket, which is the, you know, trying to put his somewhat protection from a one hit uh, technique uh, from Yuta. Releasing Hollow Wicker Basket and taking the Angel's technique straight up in a desperate gamble to fire off the world splitting dismantle. Yeah, we've already planned for that. And then you got Rita grabbing his upper right arm, Yuji grabbing his lower right arm, Yuta grabbing his right hand, um, his left hand arm and decking him in his stomach. He's like, we knew you tried this. And he rips off his arm. Oh my God, this is not going good for him. And, and Yuta, Yuta says that in able to expand his mantle, well, um, he had to dispel um, Hollow Wicker Basket. Either he's going to need to use his hands, chance, or both for these advanced techniques. He can't just do whatever he wants. And I'm not gonna let him do either. His slashes are weakening. We've got nothing to fear, even if we get up close. And I, I don't know about that now. I think, I think they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves here, but I digress. So he's trying to slice him, dice him. And all of a sudden there's an explosion on his face. And he's like, what is this? The black's blood? It's bursting? So yeah, we get a brief flashback. Yuji talking to his bro Chozo. 
um, saying that it looks like the souls can never merge unless there's some specific instances that causes to them to do so. So even though Fushigiro and Sukuna are inhabiting the same body, you don't have to worry about his soul fusing with them. It may um, continuously sink further and further into despair because the depths of sadness are infinite, apparently. But you'll never be able to merge them together unless you're someone like Mahito, who distinctly had the abilities to fuse souls between creatures or, or two others or beings or whatever to create a separate creature altogether. Um, and he believes in those words. Because of that, he's going to go out of his way and you know, just, not just pack up Sukuna, he's going to beat him down and then utilize the power of Jacob's Ladder, um, which should be able to differentiate between the two peoples. The angel's technique is the eradication of the target's technique. And he's saying that due to Sukuna's personality, his body and his reincarnated form all being the same, and he's, you know, his personality, his basic and his cursed object, all of those together, they're able to individualize who they're targeting because it's so much of himness. So Yuta then prepares his maximum output, Jacob's Ladder, and blasts him. Sukuna's not feeling that. He's turned to some, char some, some chicharron. That's basically fried pork skin for those who don't know about that. Yuji, charging up that divergent fist, says, wake up, dex him in his soul. The composition of the soul from e th that angle. Itadori and Okotsu's plan had no flaws. They had factored in everything. However, as always, as always, Megami's cells, that's enough. I've had enough because within Fushigiro Megami's soul, any lit will to live had already been extinguished. Now, granted, he had been being tormented by the King of Curses, subjected to all those monsters. I get it. I get it. But whatever, I'm, I'm just saying like you're this close to it. You can't, you can't nut it up for the friends, homie. You can't like put it together just for the team. You're gonna forfeit your cheeks, offer up your team as a pack. Um, and then we get scale of the drag, sorry, splitting of the earth or whatever. Scale of the dragon, recoil, twin meteors. It depends on which iteration we're reading. Uh, but Yuta and Yuji are cleaved. And it appears as though Yuta's been cleaved completely through because his hand, um, his torso, you can see through his chest. So it looks as if he's been split actually split. Rika has been split. Yuji has been split. And the domain begins to crash. And it looks like it's over. And it looks like, as always, the heroes just, they, they, they got close, but no cigar. But that was kind of the plan anyways, wasn't it, right? I mean, come on. Surely no one thought that they were that confident that they could take out Sukuna. This strategy was a common of Jujutsu Sorcerers. The strategy they're about to implement, at least. A mediocre plan that Sukuna himself, under normal circumstances, would have instinctively avoided. And that is a surprise attack on the individual assured of their own victory because Maki then is piercing him, piercing him from the back with the sword, a pierced by the blade of a monster with no cursed energy. And, and, and look at him, he's still got that smirk on his face. I don't know y'all. So we have to beg the question. Did Maki get the job done? The answer is probably no. Like I feel like Sukuna's defeat will happen at the end of the chapter. Like we just keep getting teased. This is just another Hagoromo, uh, you, you know, Tease, think about it. The same thing happened before. We stabbed him in the hand, it's over. Yuji stabbed him in the back, it's over. But all the time, what was it? Not bad. Oh, the energy faded. We all know this isn't happening, but I also don't think that Yuta and Yuji are done for. I don't. I think that they're gonna be able to uh, survive through this. I'm not sure how, but maybe Rika's, not Rika, but Yuta's ability to use reverse curse technique on other people. He can power up Yuji, make it a 2v1 again. I don't know. I'm just, I just know one thing's for sure, Sukuna's not done. He's still fraud Kuna, make no mistake. But as far as the way he's gonna go out at this point, who knows? I don't think Gege has even decided how you're gonna finish him off. You're gonna get the moderate complex here in a minute where you've done so much of the story that there's no way to beat him out instead of replacing him with some new villain. Like, I don't know, the, the Uzumaki. Anyways, thanks for watching, it's been real. And by the way, check out the video above on the screen that YouTube thinks you should watch next, because I do too.